Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI? The behavior tree sequence node. So let's go ahead and cover what this is. The sequence node, let me go ahead and delete this for now, is right here. And this is one of our basic composite nodes. The intention of it is to be the root of our behavior tree branches and to allow us to determine what we're going to do based on services that may run or decorators that may run and things like that. Now the biggest difference is our sequence node is basically the opposite of our selector node. The sequence node will execute from left to right, but will only stop executing if one of the children fails. The selector node is the opposite, whereas when one of the children fails, it continues on to the next one. The sequence node is intended to run in sequence until something fails. And it seems pretty simple, but let's see how it works in theory. Well, in practice, we'll see how it works. So let's hook up our Blackboard here. We're going to go ahead and run this, and we're going to see how it works. If we go back to here, basically it's firing off our sequence node. The first task on our sequence node on the left is our wait. It's going to go ahead and wait five seconds. Then it's going to fire off our move to to the player location. Since our move to to the player location is failing, it's going to go ahead and rerun everything and go back to our wait node. Now, in order to make it work, I need to put in my d service here. Services are covered in another video. And what this is going to do is let me figure out where my player's at, assign it to the player location blackboard value, and then move my character to that location. So now let's go and run this, and we're going to see something different. We're going to see it wait for five seconds, and then since this succeeds, it does the move to. Now the move to is going to go ahead and run. Once it succeeds, it's going to fire back over here. The whole thing's going to fire again. We'll wait for five seconds, and then we'll run the move to again. So let's go back to our screen here, and we'll see it in action. After the five seconds, our character is going to get our new location and move to us. Once it gets there, it's going to wait five more seconds. The character is going to find our new location, and then it's going to move to us. And it's going to continue like that until everything blows up in theory. So that's what our sequence node is for. It's intended to fire from left to right based on the sequence you order them in, which if you notice here, let me overdrive this and zoom in. Let me hold on. You'll notice we have zero for our first node and one for our second node for the sequence. If we were to add another one in here, let's add another wait node just because we can, they're easy. You're gonna notice we now have it reordered, zero, one, two. Now, if you were to reorder these, you'll notice they are not going to change immediately. <laughs> in this instance, we have a 210. If we were to save it, it's going to go ahead and run the behavior tree again and reorder our nodes appropriately. So there you go. That is what our sequence node is for. It's intended to start off the base of the branch, do our decorators, our services as needed, and then fire off the tasks from left to right and continue firing from left to right as long as the tasks succeed. Once they fail, it immediately aborts our sequence node and starts over from above it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.